Good luck. I believe this marks week 116 of the weekly teaching ladder on 81dojo.com. And so this is an opportunity where everybody gets to play against a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent. And after the game, you both reflect over the game moves and see what you can learn together. Pardon me one second, I'd like to turn the volume up a touch here so we can hear the piece snapping noises so clearly. Yeah, having played on other shogi websites, I now have a nice appreciation for loud piece snapping noises. Um, hmm. Already I'm considering fun ideas. I could play opposing rook, or I could play static rook. Hmm. But I don't know static rook with the bishop here, so this is an opportunity for me to learn it better. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Um, yeah, I've played opposing rook on a number of games, but I've not played with this um, bishop here against static rook. Maybe this is not an ideal strategy, I don't know. Um... It looks interesting. Um, let me think what this might mean. All right. I gave it some thought. I like the idea of approaching this bishop. Um, and seeing if I can impose upon them a similar shape as what they imposed upon me here. This looks interesting. Yeah, so we both have a similar thing going on. Um, hmm. Hmm. This seems more flexible. Interesting. I mean, yeah, we're both playing very aggressively, I suppose. I need to support my bishop in this way, um, otherwise peace drops rain down in every direction. Right. Um, I think I've got things adequately covered that I can bring my silver up. So I think I'm trying to form Snow Roof Castle here. Um. This is going to be a learning experience, but I think having taken a piece of the center, I think there's a lot that I can do.
So, um, I'm debating if I should bring the silver up at this time. Or if that would block counterplay later. Oh, I don't want to move the bishop off this diagonal, do I? Um, hmm. Hmm. All right, let's play this. In a number of shapes, this silver would be useful. It's not always perfect, but in many shapes, the silver does belong here. So at some point I can provoke this pawn move, whether or not I should. It's possible for me to provoke it. It looks interesting to provoke. Right. Um... You know, I've not played right side king before. But we're making a strong case for me to consider it. Hmm. We're making a very strong case for me to consider right side king. <laughs> Touche. All right. Um, Oh. Oh, am I going to play Center King? That could be interesting. Um, no, I should close the scope of this bishop. It's too much of a potential problem here in too many lines, where they draw my silver forward and then stuff happens to my king. We're not going to go there. Or a silver gets uh, elects to go forward for various reasons. You know, stuff happens. Um, but yeah, we're both... Alright, so I've taken the move at this point. Uh, if I push, pawn takes, silver takes, pawn drop, pawn up, pawn takes, silver, pawn takes, pawn promote... Silver somewhere? I don't see it doing anything. Um, hmm.
Oh, I see. I see what should have happened. Uh, it's... Oh, goodness. What do we do? They should have pushed... Well, that's risky to push the pawn in front of their king. That's quite risky. But it also looks potentially very rewarding. So, having dodged that bullet, how many times do I think I can dodge it? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's only one path forward here, right? And we both know what it is. All right, we're going to do it. I guess they don't have to take my pawn, do they? It would help to see that before making bold declarations. Um. Hmm. How do they reinforce this point? I guess they use their rook. I don't know. All right, we strike fast. And it occurs to me only now that like if dramatically bringing the rook over immediately has a downside. Um Hmm. All right, so I made things easier for them. Perhaps I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> One favor begets another. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I think I see how this is going to go. I was stumbling a lot here trying to find 
show any kind of aggressive move that actually achieves something. This is the aggressive move that achieves something in the reverse direction. That's a fork. And there is a proverb that says don't run from a fork. I think, I mean, there's no need for a proverb that says don't walk into a fork, but um, anyway, my point is that I don't see what they can do with this tempo. And I don't see what else I can do other than this drop that actually achieves anything. Like, yeah, I've got pressure, but it doesn't do anything. Mm hmm. That's interesting. Can I push? I don't have a complete breakthrough if I do push. Push takes takes a drop. Hit the bishop. Bishop runs. Hit the bishop again. Looks interesting. Also, I could retreat if they take this pawn and move over. They check me. It's not as interesting. Pawn, pawn, rook, silver, silver. Bishop, Rook, doesn't do the job. Silver, Bishop, um, oh, um, Silver, bishop, pawn. Pawn, pawn. Bishop. Pawn, bishop, takes, takes. Hmm. <sighs> There's a lot of tactics here. All right, I think this is right. Not for obvious reasons. Oh, fudge. They have a silver drop this whole time. That complicates things a bit. Um... All right, this is going to be a fun.
That's where we wanted to put the king the whole time, right? When you play right side king, you put it in the center. <laughs> this is not wise, but it's interesting. Ah. All right, this is more complicated than I imagined. Sanju Sanju There is logic to what I'm doing, and this wasn't what I dreamed of. But there's still a lot of potential in this position. Either way, it shows that my greed has not paid off again. Hmm, maybe there was a chance that no. Maybe. Maybe I missed something Thank crucial. You. Hmm. That's disappointing, because yeah, I in retrospect I think I did miss a really crucial tactic. If I brought the knight forward, the rook can drop back with cooperation of other pieces and ensnare the horse. Not the easiest thing to spot.
that said, I'm not convinced the bishop escapes after promoting. What have I missed? Oh. Sanjudio. Um, not sure if I believe that. Well, I have only one move here. It's going to be a mess because I've not protected my king as much as I'd like to have protected it. Mm hmm Sure. I'm looking. I've been looking for several moves. Sanjudio 
I think they were expecting my king to run back. I mean, it's the move I would have wanted to play. It just doesn't fit here. All right, my speakers died. I need to reset them. I mean, don't get me wrong, this looks crazy. And maybe Silver Drop attacking the knight might have looked safer somehow. Um, it's just for the past few minutes, this is the move I've been obsessing over. So this is what I'm playing. I sound calm, but calm I am not. Interesting. I have to take the horse. I keep staring into the abyss. Yeah, I don't see what's going to happen next. Hmm. It's a tricky position.
Welcome. Hmm. My king doesn't have an easy escape from this. I should say it differently for clarity of speech. My king lacks an easy escape. If I move my king one direction or the other, the knight could threaten to promote. <laughs> then the knight and the rook would be after my king. I have <laughs> one reasonable move. I was going to say one legal move now. One reasonable move here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Sanjudio. Yonjudio. Gojudio. Itch. Nick. Sang. She. Go. There's a ridiculous number of tactics to examine. Ah, right, that one. Sanjudio 
40秒50秒三十秒。うん。四十秒。五十秒。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八、九。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。That was a tricky choice. I'm not sure I chose correctly. Thirty seconds. Forty seconds.
50秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7うん30秒40秒30秒30秒。30秒。30秒。秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒123456730秒40秒50秒1234567830秒40秒
30秒40秒50秒30秒30秒。30秒。30秒。30秒。
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1234567。1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 十30秒40秒50秒1 30秒40秒50秒1234567秒。30秒40秒50秒1234567秒。
30秒40秒50秒I think we found it. It's delicate balancing my king's defense with my attack. I might have missed a faster win, but I think I found a win. My overconfidence is my weakness. I should know that by now. <laughs> oh dear. I am super blind, aren't I?
a dozen times I checked this. A dozen times that looked like mate. Interesting. Um, Sanjudio Yonjudio Kojudio Ichi 
Thanks for the game. Alright, so as we do with all teaching letter games, this gives us an opportunity to review the game afterward. Yeah, that was intense. We always have a lively game, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> looks like I get the honors of conducting the review. Um, uh, sure. Um, you know, here. Um, hmm. oh, like, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of this King Approach stuff that needs to be worked on. Uh, yes, I won, on account of having about twice as many pieces as my opponent. Um, so I was able to win that. Um, I guess... Yeah, I should ask, is it okay if we try from the beginning? Because, like, I don't know that we're going to come up with anything revolutionary here. Alright, so here we begin our review from uh, the opening. Our opponent uh, is playing Static Rook, and I decide I too want to play Static Rook, and I want to try... Um, I want to try building a castle or uh, an attack that I've not tried before. So, don't want to fixate too much on the opening, but those are my brief remarks about it. Um, but yeah, I wasn't sure whether or not I was going to stay like this, although, um, Uh, 
I was also curious, like, what happens when I provoke this? Uh, yeah. So. Oh yeah, you're right to be worried. There's a lot to be concerned about. Uh, so, I think we did okay in the opening. Um, uh, yeah, I couldn't really figure out a plan uh, for them here. All right, take care. I'll see you in a minute. But yeah, when they push this, I'm like, okay, now I've got the initiative. Um, maybe that's fine. I'm just not so familiar uh, with what you do there. Yeah, like, by playing this, I was curious what my opponent would uh, teach me in this opening-slash-middle game. I was looking forward to getting some kind of a lesson here. Um, hmm. All right. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, this looks interesting. Um... Yeah, maybe I should consider this. I don't know. Um, separately, I've got like this and this. Um, or separate from that, I could also consider this sort of thing. So, yeah, uh, instead, yeah, this is odd. Um, but 
but like I had to do something. I didn't really have any idea what to do. Oh. Okay, so if I want to try to do right side king, yeah, don't do this. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess the gold could go up that way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess, okay, that's what spooked him, is the possibility that I might try playing the rook on the right side fourth file. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't studied that opening yet, so I actually don't know. Um, but that could have been interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Pharmacist is typing. But yeah, if you're castling to the right, attacking on the right side of the board while your opponent's king is on the left side is a bit dubious. Um, Yeah, what I did is not smart. Not even remotely smart. It looked kind of fun at the moment, but it just, it's not uh, coherent. Um, Yeah. So we can condemn it from a theoretical standpoint all day. Um, cause like this is unwise. This is there's so many metaphors for like how unwise this is. So I need to like basically bolt over here. Uh, yeah, should not have done what I did because this is, my opponent almost successfully punished me for it. Um. Hmm. I'm too impulsive, aren't I? What am I doing playing Shogi? I don't know. Um... I didn't actually see any obvious mistake in this whole chain of moves. But that probably reflects more on me 
uh, than anything else. Um, We got this loose, this loose, this loose, this exposed, that. Um, I don't know. No. Okay. He's better here. I had a very difficult time reading this, though. Like, I wonder, is there some sort of refutation like this or something? Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Alexi's suggesting, uh, well, we did see bishop eight four in the game. Um, and now a pawn drop here. Okay. Is this how the game continued? I forget. Yeah, it is actually the game move. So, what's the point or purpose of these things? Um, Yeah, silver four one was played. What's th okay? This was played. Knight seven seven was played. These were all the game moves. One seven five was played. Is it really knight 6-5 that's the error? How? I mean, it could be. Okay. Found this Yosa. Now, I saw this during the game. Wait. No, I'm not taking that. <laughs> That's extremely risky. <laughs> yeah, gold takes looks pretty risky. Um, I might prefer this. Not sure about this, Alexi. Not five two gold. Double check. Now here there are two ways. This is some deep stuff, man. Oh. Um. Huh. 
There are two ways, either this gold retreat or this capture. Um, so... I'm looking. I don't understand either of these two options. Hmm. No, no, we're not. I don't think we're taking that. Okay, this is, yeah. Hmm. Taking a night. Yes, so the gold is hanging, so that you can't take the knight either. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 wow. Hmm. Okay. I did not foresee that. Um, I'm still not convinced, though. Let me check. No, I do have the zoomed in once. If I zoom in twice, my interface breaks. Hmm, I see. Yeah, okay. That is amazing. Um, that's really awesome. <laughs> well explained. All right. Yeah. My king does not escape this. Well, probably does not escape this in one piece. Um, hmm. Yeah, on move 72 in this variation, take the gold instead. Then, yeah, then we have this more thematic thing where my king is being approached in two directions. And I can't ward off both fronts at the same time. Yeah, that's really clever. And pretty normal. So at this point my king's surrounded and I need to find some desperate attack and there just isn't one. Yeah, there's nothing to be done here.
So that's the thematic way about this. So yeah, if you'd found this chain of accurate moves, I would have lost. Um, what happened wasn't bad either in the game. Uh, the follow up somewhere in this set of moves is incorrect. Um, it's not an easy position to play. <laughs> I don't know. That was pretty mad what happened. Um, that's just so insane. Uh, but yeah, what was played, I guess, actually isn't bad. Um, but at some point, this fell apart. Yeah, I'm starting to think this this drop is, this is a waste of time. Light move rather than heavy. Okay. So, what do you do here? I mean, if I'm reading the arrows correctly, oh, I could, I could give the host thing over. Yeah, move seventy one was heavy. Yeah, this gold drop here. Um, it doesn't involve the rest of the pieces. And so I finally get to do something else. 6-2 silver. I don't know. Maybe there's some tactical justification of it. Oh. Oh. I miss this tactic here. Yeah, so this greatly accelerates the attack. So the silver on 6-2 is immune to capture. Um, because my own king is severely weakened because I'm sitting over here. Uh, with just my king and rook protecting that pawn. Um, yeah. So, with the knowledge that I can't take the pawn, or can't take the silver, then this knight advance becomes a real threat. Um, which I don't seem to, well, I don't know. Maybe there is something I can do about it, maybe there's not. It doesn't look like there's much I can do. Yeah, so then I have to dodge the attack for a thousand moves. Um. <laughs> and maybe if I survive the attack, then someday I'll get a turn to attack. Um. But yeah, that's a really nice uh, discovered attack on this pawn. And a, a knight hitting a rook suddenly. When the rook was safe and it's... Or, the rook was not really safe, but it's even less safe after having taken a silver. Um, yeah, so at this point, I think I'm surviving? It's not easy, but... Gradually, this position's becoming mine more and more. 
promote it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm forever blind to these peace promotions. I keep saying this, like, oh wow, look, pieces promote. Um, no, but it catches me by surprise every single time. It shouldn't. But it does. Um... Oh, well, that is a mate in one threat, so I can't just take the gold. Uh, I guess I have to defend, like, oh, never mind. All right. Interesting. Yeah, this pawn drop. Yeah, I finally activate my bishop to protect my other bishop. And at some point. Yeah, this ran out. There's no coming back from here. So, this is just my impression of the game at this point. Um, he missed another one later? Okay. Well, that's interesting. How? <laughs> 128. Okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken the dragon, but I was like, I have mate, so... That's why I went this way. Oh, right. Yeah, during the game. Yeah, I wasn't sure about all these moves they were doing. But on 128, there was something... Oh, silver? Hmm. What's the threat? Oh, that has a threat. Um. Damn. That's impressive. Okay. That, that is nuts. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That, <laughs> that's not even fair. That's too good. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, I still don't... Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I move one sixteen. Rook four two is to try to save the rook. It's looking for me. Didn't find a mate. On drop. Okay. Yep, king takes it. Seems forced. I didn't see a checkmate. I mean, that's an idea. Then the king runs. And I'm not sure... Well... Okay. Does this king not escape? Huh. Alright, so yeah, this... This forces mate.
Um, oh, I see. Well, do I? Not sure I do. Okay. Um... Maybe I'm just being obstinate for some reason. Oh! Wait. Okay. Yeah, this takes, and then this is made. Okay. That's not easy to spot, but with them threatening mate on my king, I need to find a mate there. Dang. So many missed attacking ideas this game. Oh, poor Alexi had to witness all of this, <laughs> but he gets to educate us afterward. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Like, uh, so the conclusion is, I guess, twofold. One, reading deep doesn't justify my flights of fancy. And two, boy, do I need more endgame practice. Because endgames are tough. <laughs> It's an interesting end game and earlier middle game. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he almost dunked a two don here. A two don who maybe wasn't playing at the level of two don, but still. Yeah, it was a really nice attack. So much so that it stumped me. Um, yeah, they had quite a few chances in this really tense game. And I think we both learned and enjoyed it. I guess in teaching ladder games, sometimes I do have a... Well, in general, I have a tendency to do the flight of fancy thing where I'm like, Hey, that looks interesting. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. I can't spell. Oh well, we know what I meant. Cool. So, yeah, this is quite an adventure, wasn't it? Um. Uh, so, I guess to recap, we played, we had an ambition to play one of the static rook ideas I that I've not faced or played before. And this gave us a chance to see a number of unique positions and try some new ideas. Um, and uh, from this experience and through the great help of Alexi too. Um, yeah, this will give me a better idea of what to do and what not to do in future games. Um, yeah, it befuddles me. I mean, Alexi pointed out the most obvious mates that I missed here. It would not surprise me if... Um, well, okay, at this point I did have it in hand. There's some other ideas I do want to look at at some point here. Um, so yeah, he's right that I didn't have to run the rook. Although I did run it. No. What I was curious about was actually earlier. How much earlier? Yeah, so this here. This is one point where I was curious. And knew I didn't have the energy to figure it out, so I didn't spend the time on it. Um, But maybe just taking the bishop has some merit. So this sets up a thread of this sort of thing there. 
Um, that said, uh, the king can try to escape this way. Um, well, this leads to a similar situation with the threat to take the rook. Yeah, I was completely winning here, and then I went to completely losing when I allowed the mate. So, I knew I didn't have the energy during the game to figure this out. Uh, this game had been more than I bargained for. My opponent played very well. Um, even now I'm still stumped on it, but maybe it's fine. I should practice mates in general and not fixate on this, but it just has my fascination somehow. Um, I mean, during the game I was even looking at stuff like this, which looks kind of fun. Um, maybe that's unnecessary, maybe... I don't know. I'm sure I have, like, lots of winning moves here. But also, I was not... Oh yeah, this was the first position that really was driving me up a wall. Because I know I'm winning. Um, and yet I dropped the lance here because I was thinking, well, surely I have mate if I'm winning. But it's not that simple. Um, yeah, easier would just be take the horse. But I shied away from that. I was concerned about stuff like this. And really, I, what am I so concerned about? Um, do I have mate here? Now would this be a fine time? This isn't mate. Well, damn. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, their thing isn't mate, so I can continue attacking. Okay. Yeah, Yosa is this phase where you approach the opposing king. Alexi is very correct that I need to practice this. Um. <laughs> oh, God. How do you approach a king? <laughs> He doesn't have anything in hand, so there's no need for me to panic whatsoever here. Um, yeah, actually there's no urgency for me to do anything here, is there? Wait, but during the game this didn't work. How would this work now, I wonder? Like, surely this does work. I'm... Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking this, and then maybe a silver drop next? This one. Yeah, that, I mean... And then I was looking at this? Oh. Wait, so they block. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, so I can take that. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taking this is actually best. Make sure this is check. Not sure if... No... <laughs> Wait, I'm curious, why does that matter? I don't think it matters here, does it? Oh, okay. Suma. Really? This is Suma. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, so... Uh, 
Uh, I've got a knight and a silver in hand. A knight here. Oh, the pawn's pinned. Okay, so this is fine. Um... Hmm. This is an interesting position. Oh, that's cool. See, so yeah, all this lands with check. Check, 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 check. And then this is check. The king escapes this way, and then like that. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So, okay. So this was driving me up the wall because I'm like, I know I need to approach, and I was convinced I had enough pieces to deliver um no I had enough pieces to continue approaching and at some point when I've approached enough I can consider sacking everything for mate and I thought I had crossed the threshold where um I didn't have to worry about my king anymore um yeah so this lance drop actually does checkmate. Um, so that's mate. Let's see, silver four seven one. I'm sorry, silver lance four six is moved one twelve to one thirty. So one thirty minus one twelve would be eighteen plus the first is nineteen move mate. Yeah, it makes sense that there would be something else. But if there's a mate, there's got to be a better one. Here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. That makes way more sense. Well, let's just invert the move order, right? Uh... Yeah, this looks a lot easier. Alright, so on 112 we missed this mate. Maybe it's not the most obvious mate in the world, but... Okay, this is a sound way to approach the king, using all of your pieces to checkmate it. Except maybe this knight here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the idea. So, sacking the rook at exactly the right moment. Nice. Okay, so now we have a better appreciation for... Gosh, what makes this game so fascinating is just... You can have this entire army doing so many different things at once. And yet, even with such an incredibly powerful army, delivering checkmate, it's just an art. It's, uh, it's something else. Oh, I misread something here, didn't I? Uh, yeah, that's actually not mate due to this silver hanging out here. Uh, I forgot about the silver. I mean, hmm. yes, yeah, so this isn't actually mate. At least not the way I thought it was. Um, hmm.
Yeah, so we do have to allow this. And yeah, it's just incredible how challenging this can be. Hmm. Who knew, right? You want to use all the pieces to mate, but they can only proceed one at a time. I mean, there's this idea, um, which looks crazy at face value. Is it insane? I don't know. This is the sort of thing engines excel at, and humans, well, humans are okay at it. Some are really awesome at it. Um, yeah, this doesn't work. Yeah, I think that mate in 19 was the shortest one there in terms of that sort of thing. Um, now, I mean, it's possible there might be some other sequence here with other piece drops, or maybe after this there's something else going on here too. I don't know. Shogi is kind of complex and beautiful in that way. And yeah, chess just doesn't have the same level of excitement, unfortunately. At least not in my understanding of it. Maybe I don't understand it very well. Um, hmm. So yeah, all the peace promotions and their very special ways of moving does produce one very fascinating dance to watch. And there are many patterns you can apply, but they don't always work. So every game is a new invention. Um, that said, even if this lance drop does mate, um, and even if we love checkmating by a series of checks, I feel like there's something else going on here too. Like, yes, there's a checkmate in 19, and we're told and taught that checkmate is like extremely, it's better to have a checkmate than to have a risk of being checkmated. Um, but... I... maybe I'm crazy. Maybe this is not the right way of thinking. But that's Yosa right there. We're approaching this king that's defenseless. Now, like, they'll tell you, well, checkmate wins, so... yeah. Wanna play safe, you can take the gold, too. Oh, yeah... Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, during our post-game analysis, that was my first impulse, is take the gold and then take the silver. Um, if I want to play it safe. I think... Uh, so we saw that awesome variation with the mate in 19. That said, even though this move isn't check, uh, I don't see anything the opponent can do to resist. Like, this threatens mate on the next move, and it doesn't seem like there's a good way to resist this. So this looks... Uh, yeah, I mean, there's another proverb that says a, a short he-she, a short sudden death mating attack, or mate threat that's unstoppable, can be just as good, if not better, than a long checkmate, because there's a risk that you might mess up the checkmate. And maybe I'm repeating that proverb here. Um, so, yeah, it's funny. Uh, a year or two ago, when we were looking at some game, and there was the possibility of either checkmate that looked really cool, or uh, just this approach of the king with a mate threat that's unstoppable. Somehow I find the mate threat just as beautiful sometimes even more beautiful. Even though there's not a check involved here. Like, this is kind of like the quiet move in chess, where you just place this move that doesn't capture anything, doesn't check the king, probably isn't a promotion, 
just moves a piece from one square to an empty square, maybe th directly threatening something, but usually when you have an effective quiet move in chess, it's because it's threatening to do another thing next, not because the quiet move actually does anything in its own right. And this is kind of similar to that, and that, yeah, you could argue that dropping the silver might threaten something directly. Actually, a pawn drop might be just as effective here, too. Yes, so this this approach, without doing all the checks, this can lead to bad habits. This can be a lazy sort of thing to do. So that's the counter-argument, and it makes sense that, like, if you're playing a longer time control game, and you see, oh, I see this move, and it probably looks like it maybe works. Then, yeah, you should try to do better and not lazily bum about it like I do here. Um, but yeah, the the lance drop mates, um, the silver drop forms mate threat, pawn drop also forms the same mate threat. Um... And I don't know if other moves directly mate like that mate in 19 does. Um, but yeah, relying on that sort of thing where I'm probably winning and this is good enough and I'm going to relax now is not a good habit. You want to. Plus, if you're not finding the mates, then in games where you actually need to find a mate, that's a problem. So, yeah, two sides of that same coin. Um,. Yeah, so here if I want to relax, I can just take uh, pawn takes gold, king takes silver, and that's fine. And in fact, wait, did this not occur in the game? Yeah, this didn't occur in the game directly. Um, yeah, here I did take this gold, and I was contemplating taking the horse first. Um, which allows my rook to be taken, but it probably doesn't matter, but maybe it does. No, there's a good chance it matters here. So, yeah, the lance drop without finding the mate was lazy. If I'm going to commit a lance and then my opponent gets the lance and it lets them win my rook and, like, everything comes to life again, then I need to rethink that and maybe not do that. Um, so, if I'm, yeah, this... Lance drop 4-6 is the correct move, but it was the bad habit still, because I didn't search to mate. And if I don't see a mate and I'm not confident in it, I shouldn't fake confidence in this way. When, like, I can play this and be confident that this is fine. Um, yeah, it's important to be honest about these things. Um, this sort of, like, yeah, the game just ends at this point. Yeah, there are things they can do, but I know I can survive this. They don't have anything in hand. They don't have ways of even getting things into their hand. So I can be confident in this, whereas I dropped the lance the lance drop was the checkmating move, but I didn't see that out to mate. Um, yeah. So within the time constraints and with my own, my own, within my own skill set, I need to pick moves. Even when I'm playing with an audience, <laughs> and boy, do I want to dazzle myself and the audience! I shouldn't risk the game for it. At least not if I want to win. So, yeah, also know the occasion. If this is some team tournament thing, take it seriously. Don't worry about the audience. If you're playing for an audience, uh, I mean, you're not going to learn things if you play the best move every time, but that's not a good reason to play bad moves. It's hard. Uh, yeah, so to our opponent's credit, they played a fantastic game. They, um, as Alexi pointed out, let's see, where was it? 
uh, right here. At this point, I'm dead. So, my opponent just needed to find one more move, and that would have done it. And there were several situations where, like, this entire position was just dangling. So, much credit to my opponent, the pharmacist here. Uh, best of luck in future tournament games, whether that's teaching ladder or other things. Um, it's very exciting, and hopefully we'll both play better in the future. Hope you enjoyed this game and this analysis. Thanks for watching.